Ho, check it out, boys. We are busy, busy, busy. My wife just broke a strut on the car. We got that fixed. We took the Ram in for its first service. Ran into Carl down there. That was pretty cool. He was getting the old fuel filter changed on his, and we got an oil change. And I just got back here, and uh, oh yeah, right, rear front dip on the 18. Uh, I got an axle clicking on the 21. And then, fire money, check this out, this just showed up, so. We'll come package this stuff and see what we got. Halos on the X3. Big old rock light setup, this is gonna be killer. We're gonna light up the X3 big time with this stuff. Check out the whips. Oh, these are cool. So we can open one up and check her out. You know what? We'll swap one out for a Canadian one. Let's run both. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. Let's do it. Well, we're gonna have to find a mounting solution for these. I haven't really thought that far ahead yet. Cool. Super stoked. Looking forward to this big time. First thing first. The B has got a clicking in the rear axle, and I'm pretty sure she's that one. So we're gonna swap that out. That's the way I like to confirm. And it's usually easier when you got a second guy because you can have the second guy kind of crawl and then do whatever mimics, or sorry, not what mimics, but what what brings out the click. Because sometimes if you're just riding straight, the CV click, you don't hear it, you know, it's not binding up at all. But the moment you start turning a hard turn and it has a bit of pull or draw, uh, draw or push on, on the tire, and then it starts binding and you hear the click so i mean if you have a second person that can crawl around low gear and then take your hand and put it around or on and i will i'll just roll it ahead see i did that by myself by throwing it in neutral throwing the wheels complete to, to the side and then to help my cause put it on the hill so it was easier to to keep rolling it backwards while i had my hand on this axle and i'm feeling for that click for that vibration and uh, it took quite a bit there to get it to to pop but it did and the moment it did i could feel it reverberate right through my hand so i'm certain that it's this cv joint right here that's binding up um and then repeat the process you know and then you can also quite frequently you'll be able to hear or feel if it's internally in the diff as well by just placing your hand on the diff and rolling the bike however that one there is pretty easy to diagnose just by jacking up and spinning the tires freely in neutral you can you'll definitely uh be able to to find that and uh yeah, so we're swapping this one out. It's the one I've got ordered because I had uh, figured it was exactly that. And then we should be good to go for the morning. All right, cool. Away we go. washers you always tell clean on the back side that should be pressed up against you want to make sure that those got uh, 
the pressure on them properly. So three components. I always keep them separate. We'll get rid of our brakes here. See my skid plates are running havoc. Interference. Extension now for the brakes. That's all right. Still easy to get at. shoulder on the inside and then she's really uh wrapped around the round end there's not a lot of a lot of room to get in there with the box end even to get a good grip on her and you don't want to strip her so then i'll drop that one back into the shock so we don't mix it up well in all pretty clean though not bad so that gives us our swing arm free now Now it's time for that rod there, which we'll remove this brake line because it just kind of gets in the way. And she don't quite got the beef. Oh, damn, that's tight. Now I think the old gun. Ah, it came off the other side. Quick little nudge, and I think we got her. Yeah, we did. Just like that. Slightly smoother than I anticipated, to be honest with you, but I guess. New bikes are more cooperative, there's no doubt about it. Boys are gonna run off on me before I, I finish the job. So I just, uh, when you guys died, just tighten down the sway bar link. That should be plenty. Cover that up. Leave her in the bag because she gets crazy. We're gonna spread some of that bad boy around. to reassembling our axle shiny side down obviously with the concave and our axle nut good to go cotter pin
no contaminants in the diff, which is really nice to see. Really nice to see that for a change, I'll tell you. Always balance these on your foot because it's too heavy for me anymore. Try your foot back and touch it. On they go. Decent. Let her down, eh? Check. Big lickety split. Just like that, boys. Now I just gotta put all this crap away. And we'll be back. Well, there it is, boys. How to diagnose and fix a rear axle on a Can-Am. Pretty simple process, really. But uh, I'll fire it up, we'll back her up, we'll put some stress on that corner, and we'll just make sure we've got rid of that clicking and that uh, our diagnosis was correct. skag tomorrow when uh we got a pile of people coming out for a good time and it can ruin a good time pretty quick especially for the guy who's got to try to get you out of there you're lucky buddy who's your die ride or die right so yeah wrapped up wicked we'll catch you tomorrow it's gonna be wicked time <laughs>